What's up YouTube? No more Op4 coming at you with another gear review video, this time on Fury's uh, 26 inch expandable baton. It also comes in a 21 inch and a 16 inch. Uh, a lot of batons out there if you're an LEO um, or just a regular civilian that has one of these, uh, legally owns one of these. Depending upon your state, you may or may not be allowed to have these. I'm not an expert on the legality of this across the country, but uh, you know, follow your follow your, the corresponding laws to wherever you reside. Um, but this can be a great alternative to a firearm if you're in a situation where you don't or would be uh, outside the law of using deadly force. Uh, if you wanted to go a less lethal route or non-lethal route. This can certainly be lethal. Uh, steel rod, obviously smacking somebody in the head, can do some serious damage, so you have to be responsible with something like this. It's not a toy for swinging around in the game room. Uh, although I see a lot of videos of people doing just that. Uh, the length closed, I just measured it, it's about nine and three quarter inches long. This is the 26. Again, also comes in 21 and 16 inches weighs in at 1.1 pounds. Uh, just pretty pretty nice. Um, it's very light in the hand. It's very easy to swing. You do not get tired uh, very quickly. Um, it's very easy to extend. I, I will show that here in a second once I'm done with this tabletop part. Um, if you are an LEO, I know some other uh, LEOs I'm friends with, um, they have spent upwards of 50, 60, 70 dollars, even some over a hundred for batons. In my opinion, this one is just as good as theirs. Uh, I'll show you just how strong it is in a second once I ex uh, extend it. But uh, for a person that, especially a civilian, that is going to keep this in like a get home bag, that's where I keep this one. Um, you know, in a, in a capacity like that is an option for non-lethal or le uh, less lethal way of protecting yourself or disabling an attacker, uh, this is a very good option. So, um, <clears throat> some of uh, some other LEOs that I know um, that have batons, you know, they spent quite a decent amount of money compared to what you can get this for. Uh, this is available online for under 20 bucks, and this is the biggest model that they have. Um, for the, for the civilian that's, that just wants to have a non-lethal method of protecting themselves, uh, you know, this is, this is a much better choice than going and spending $80 on something that hopefully never has to be used. Um, you know, do you actually need one? Again, you know, this all goes into what you're using it for, whatever application you're going to put this in. For me, this baton is in my get-home bag. Uh, that would probably be transferred to a bailout bag um, for an option to have if one, I run out of ammo because I do carry a handgun in my bailout bag, uh, but two, if you know I wanted to go the non-lethal, less than lethal route. Also, if you have more than one person in your group and you're the only one with a firearm, at least you can arm them with this, an extra 1.1 pounds, you know, give someone the ability to protect and defend themselves so uh, one quick point i wanted to talk about when using a baton and uh, capacity of self-defense um, less than lethal non-lethal uh, just if you don't have any formal training with a baton like this um, some of the areas you might consider uh, one of the main non-lethal areas to really disable someone is right here behind the knee, hitting someone in that point of their leg, even you know coming down from the side like that, is really going to put somebody on the ground and it's probably going to immobilize them, which in a non-lethal, less than lethal uh, situation is, is really your best bet because any, uh, any strike to the head uh, or neck regions has the, has the uh, potential to seriously injure them, possibly even kill them if you hit them hard enough. Um, you know, again, I'm not going to go into the legality um, on something like this. You have to look that up for your area where you live in and determine if this is something that you're allowed to have 
Uh, for me, you know, this is really something that this is this isn't carried with me every day. Um, it's in my get home bag in a situation really uh, without rule of law. I'm going to throw that term out there uh, for lack of a better word. Um, but if I don't want to have to draw my firearm on someone uh, and I want to go a non-lethal or less than lethal route, this is, this is really the only capacity that I would use something like this in. Um, if you're an LEO uh, or someone that carries something like this on duty, obviously you have a little wider range of, of use for this. But uh, again, for disabling purposes, a hit to the back of the knee or to the solar plexus region uh, would definitely disable someone, potentially immobilize them enough for you to at least get out of the situation, which in a non-lethal scenario, that's your best bet. Uh, defend yourself as much as you have to, immobilize the threat, and escape the situation. But I just wanted to throw that little piece in there. So again, taking a look at the Fury expandable baton. This is the 26 inch model. Uh, Pretty, pretty self-explanatory, just with a snap of the wrist, this will extend, just like that. It's fully locked out, and uh, you can see here, it's quality. Um, it's got a little scuffing on it, but uh, that's what it's good for. This is pretty high quality steel, I have to say. Um, you know, when I first bought it, I was taking a look just at the prices, and <clears throat> I didn't really understand how when everything else on the market uh, was so so much higher uh, cost-wise, how this could possibly be quality? But for you know the 13 or 14 bucks that I got this for, it was worth a shot, and it turned out to be great. Now I have taken this and uh, I've tried it out on wood and some um, medium thickness, like it was an old mailbox. Um, <laughs> not not a uh, in-service mailbox, but uh, in just like a trash can. I tried it on an old trash can, and it beat the hell out of it. And no denting or even you know, as far as the the straightness of it, it maintained that. And I think it has to do with the fact um, that it has uh, a different kind of welding than most batons. And it talks about that in the box that it comes in. Um, you know, I'm not the master as, as far as welding goes. I do have a little bit of knowledge because one of my buddies is a boiler maker. But uh, apparently, I guess the, the difference with the Fury expandable baton is they use what's called section welding, uh, which gives it a higher hardness and just for whatever reason makes it more durable than spot welding, which is usually done on a lot of other uh, baton models. Um, you know, the, the quality to me seems well worth the $15 uh, to have something like this in your get, uh, your get home bag or your bailout bag. So, um, you know, obviously you don't want to beat it to failure because you want to have it when you need it, but just for testing purposes to see if this thing was worth keeping in my get home bag, I did try beating it up a little bit just to see, you know, what it could withstand and it's held up to everything I've thrown at it thus far. So. Uh, it's a great baton. Again, you know, check the code of uh, where you live. You know, you want to make sure that you're not breaking any laws. Obviously, I don't advocate that, um, <clears throat> but it's a good baton. Uh, in order to put it back to its original length, you just have to hit it against a uh, a solid solid ground or a wall or something like that. I'm just going to use the cement here to do it. I'll try to get it in the video for you, but goes down pretty easily, you saw there. Um, you try doing this on softer ground and it will not work. If you do this in dirt, unless it's really hard compact dirt, uh, it, will not, it will not go back in. Um, and when I was testing it out and hitting it against things, I did not notice any lack of durability in the uh, baton staying extended. So. This is the Fury 26 inch expandable baton. You can get it under $20 pretty much anywhere online. Um, you know, one of the things that, that tells you that this is a, is a good baton is that it's always out of stock. And uh, there's a reason for that. You know, this is one of the rare times where 
you can actually pay less and get something as good, if not better, than a lot of other more expensive options out there. This is No More Op 4, coming at you with another gear review video. As always, I appreciate subscriptions, comments, video likes. If you have any questions or if you want to see something specific, shoot me a message or just do a comment on one of my videos. Um, but I'm out of here, guys. Peace.